This is what some people are posting online, saying fights like these are happening in the halls of Colleton County Schools. The district is up front and acknowledges an uptick in recent fights, but we found one parent who says her child has been bullied for the last three years. She says the administration has yet to provide her a solution. Anna Harris sat down with that mom to hear her story, and she also digs a little deeper into who needs to be held responsible. Brittany Husk has a son with special needs at Colleton County Middle School. Over the last three years, she says he's experienced assault, been beaten in the head, and even been stabbed with a metal shard and a pencil. There was no punishment to the other kid. There was no, you know, actions taken. Um, and then even when I came into the school and had a meeting, nothing was done after that. Husk heard from the middle school admin as well as the superintendent at the time that boys will be boys. Um, that, you know, kids fight all the time. They have hundreds of fights every day and that if they were to report all of them, that they would have thousands of reports a day. Husk says a school resource officer told her they have to decide what is serious enough to report. It makes me very mad because it's like they're choosing that another kid is more important than my son. I was able to locate at least six Instagram accounts with dozens of fight videos claiming to be in Colleton County schools. The district's interim superintendent, Jessica Williams, says they are concerned about the recent uptick in fights in their schools. Plus this statement, which reads in part, quote, the district is dedicated to providing a safe environment for all students. Unfortunately, like other schools across the country, sometimes our students do not live up to our expectations. We cannot go into detail regarding specific consequences. However, we can assure our parents and community that we take all allegations of such conduct seriously and respond swiftly and appropriately. I have also contacted all board members over email and phone call. I'm sorry, the person you were trying to reach has a voicemail. Box. Reaching a dead end on five of the seven board members. However, District 4 Rep Greg Stivender was the only one who answered the phone. It's a major concern for me um, that our children are safe while they're in school and if fighting should not be acceptable. Husk says she went to the Colleton County Sheriff's Office about her son's bullying. They told me that they don't get involved with school incidents. And when she asked one of the school resource officers about the stabbing incident from last year, they told her they don't have any record of all the stuff that was happening last year that has just miraculously disappeared from their system. The criminal investigations division at the sheriff's office says, quote, while there are reports on file for that student, none match the circumstances that are being relayed to you. While I never say never, I do not believe that an incident of such severity would go undocumented, given the assumption the incident was reported or observed. I want to get this out to the public so that they understand what's going on, not just to my son, but to other students, and they need to know that nothing is being done about it. You can read both the district and sheriff office's statements on live5news.com. In Colleton County, Anna Harris, Live 5 News.